We have just heard from Elder Joseph B. Worthlin of the Council of the Twelve Apostles. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation for all who have provided the music for this great conference to the Mormon Youth Chorus, the Ricks College Centennial Choir, Ogden and Mount Ogden Region Men's Choir and Tabernacle Choir, and to their conductors and organists. We thank our city officials for the cooperation given this conference, the Relief Society and Church Health Unit nurses who have been on hand to render service, and the ushers and interpreters. We express appreciation to the local and national press representatives for the coverage given to the conference and to the owners and managers of the many radio and television stations and cable systems who have given time and facilities to carry sessions of this conference in many countries. President Benson has suggested that I bear my testimony to you at this time, and I am pleased to again express my witness that God lives, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, that this work is true, and that happiness comes through serving our Heavenly Father and serving our fellow man. If from this conference we can gain a new feeling of closeness to the Savior and a testimony of His divine mission, and on this Easter Sunday, if we can, renewed with the spirit of the resurrection, go forward in looking after His sheep and our family responsibilities and the pursuit of our Church duties in a way which will be pleasing to our Heavenly Father, we ourselves will be abundantly blessed. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. In all of your incomings and outgoings, may you have peace in your hearts, may you have tranquility in your homes, and may you have the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ in your souls. I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. President Benson is feeling a bit weary after having attended and participated in the many sessions of the conference and therefore has asked that President Gordon B. Hinckley read the message which President Benson has prepared for us. I might mention that after President Hinckley has read this message, the Tabernacle Choir will sing, Abide With Me. The benediction will then be offered by Elder Gardner H. Russell of the First Quorum of the Seventy and this conference will then stand adjourned for six months. <laughs>